The plan of an American private equity firm and an Australian shipbuilder to take over the former site of bankrupt South Korean firm Hanjin and Subic is getting but will continue. Key Philippine Navy units will be stationed in the northern part of the former site of troubled shipbuilding giant Hanjin Heavy Industries and Construction Philippines in Subic, Zambales, once the plan of an American-Australian consortium to invest in the strategic area is realized. Navy Chief Vice Admiral Giovanni Bacordo said units of the Philippine Fleet, Naval Sea Systems Command, Naval Installations Command and Amphibious Assault Battalion may occupy about 100 hectares of the area, which served as a U.S. naval base for decades. The deep and protected harbor is ideal for the larger fleet vessels, Bacordo told the Philippine Star. The area, Bacordo said, is also near the Naval Education Training and Doctrines Command, the future base of the Philippine Marines in Bataan, and other training facilities like those of the Philippine Merchant Marine Academy and the Maritime Academy of Asia and the Pacific. American private equity firm Cerberus Capital Management and Australian shipbuilder Austal Limited are interested to invest about $2 billion in the shipyard, considered a vital asset due to its access to the West Philippine Sea. Cerberus is the mother company of Dyna Corporation, a large private contractor of the U.S. Navy, servicing U.S. warships and building facilities at naval bases. The Cerberus and Austal have reached the final stage of negotiations with the Philippine government and several banks on the takeover of the facility. However, the commercial agreement does not intend to build military installations. Cerberus is reportedly planning to use the shipyard for ship repair. Austal, meanwhile, will supply six offshore patrol vessels for the Philippine Navy, a project that costs about 30 billion pesos. The consortium may absorb the 30,000 workers who lost their jobs after Hanjin Heavy Industries Philippine went bankrupt in 2019.